Hey YouTube and preppers, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're gonna get out and we're gonna do a range test on the True SDX with an NVIS antenna. Now for an antenna, I just strung a dipole up between this tree. You see the end of the dipole over here, right there where it meets the rope going over to that tree that's one end of the dipole the other end see if I can zoom in here show you where it is strung up around the satellite uh, dish over on the shed now over on this side it's uh, I can still reach it so it's it's less than like seven feet in the air here and because of the terrain at the actual feed point of the dipole, let me zoom back out so you can see things. The feed point of the dipole isn't even really three feet off the ground. Then it continues over this way and it goes up over there, and that's probably eight feet, nine feet off the ground where it connects to the rope there. Right there. See where it's tied off over to the shed so that's it it's just a diy i made this a couple years ago 40 meter dipole and there's the radio want to know what's powering it that little usb emergency battery pack that and we got a bunch of these we like to carry them around in case we have to charge up a cell phone real quick or something like that uh, but it's actually powering the radio. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this with the light out here and whatnot. That and the fact that I'm doing it left-handed. Let's go into menu. Uh, oh, man. Got that on frequency. Menu. There we go. The volume CW is the mode is CW. Filter band 40 meter. Tune rate, VFO mode, Travis SW meter, CW decoders in there, QSK, Q speed, Kier mode, Practice, Vox, Noise gate, TX drive, delay. There we go, CQ message one. Now this one came programmed in when uh, I bought it. I gave him my call sign and they automatically programmed it in so there's a number of messages here as it's two three four five six six different programmable messages I'll go through that different time now to activate that all we have to do is hit the menu <laughs> there it is Now I've got this programmed for a 10 second delay between calls. In a couple of seconds, it'll do it again. There it is. And another 10 second delay. And it'll do the same call again. There it is. All right. Again, powered by this little silly thing. This one's actually from Credit Unions of Ontario. It's one of those gitch gifts that you get at a trade show. That's where we got it. And uh, yeah, it's actually powering the True SDX. Now, for how long it would power it, uh, transmit and receive, I'm not sure. Probably not long, uh, but it is working in this case. We'll do a test another day to see how many times that thing will actually do the trick. And now we've sent out five CQs. We'll unplug it. Automatically turns everything off. A eh. couple of motorcycle riders going by. We get that every once in a while. All right, so now that we've got five CQ messages sent out, 
let's go over to the computer and see what we can find on the reverse beacon network. How far did we go? Did we go anywhere? Let's find out. So here we are back at the computer. Now I've set up reverse beacon network to check only for my call sign and only for what's been discovered in the past hour. And as we see right down here, all five of my call outs registered. The interesting part is they're registering at distances of anywhere between 611 kilometers and 682 kilometers. Now you'll notice up here, my origin point is set to somewhere well, not too far from Toronto. If we zoom in, it absolutely goes to like the um, the Aurelia, Ontario area. Uh, this is some kind of glitch with RBN. It's pulling something off of QRZ uh, to get my location, and it's not finding it on QRZ, which is weird because it's there. Uh, so it's basically trying to determine a close point where I might be. Uh, and of course, as you can see by my call sign, VA2 means I'm in Quebec. I'm not in Ontario, and I'm not anywhere near Toronto. I'm more up around here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the locations of, or actually the location of the longest one. Let's do that. 682 kilometers. And I'm going to plot that in a second. I'll be right back with you. I'm going to plot it out in uh, Google Earth. And we'll be able to determine the di actual distance there. So W1NT6 uh, is what we're going to be looking at. We'll locate that. We'll plot it out on uh, Google Earth. Uh, and plot it over to my house and we'll see how far we can get be right back all right so here we are in Google Earth and we can see we'll move this over uh, this red spot here that little red pin is where I was going to that's who heard me on the reverse beacon network and this thing up here called untitled place mark is pretty much more or less where I live well, it's almost exactly where I live and you can see Montreal here north of Montreal in Quebec uh, not anywhere near Ontario but this is where that signal was heard in, in the middle of the day mind you it's it's like 3 30 in the afternoon type of thing uh, and I'm going 435 kilometers more or less somewhere around there it's not exact because I had to zoom out so far to be able to fit it all on the screen uh, but somewhere in the 400, 450 kilometer range uh, in the middle of the daytime with 5 volts going into the true SDX uh, from, well, you saw it, it was a little portable battery pack meant to charge up your cell phone. And it was powering it, 5 volts into it, and middle of the day, Envis antenna, uh, just a little homemade thing, you saw it hung up. And this is what I'm getting, 435 kilometers. So that to me is a perfect range test. That's exactly what I wanted uh, out of a radio and out of an Envis antenna is regional comms. Now I'm sure if I could draw a nice picture, a nice circle, 435 kilometers wide around me uh, in all directions, that's going to get me pretty much anywhere I want to go and where I want to go actually is over in this direction so let's just see see I have some friends over in Ontario that I would be looking at talking to uh, in an emergency situation let's just see there we go oh. Click on that. 435. Not quite getting where I want to go. Where I want to go is over in this area here. Aurelia area. Barry area. That type of thing. And I'm, it seems that I'm just a little bit shy of that. Of being about 500 kilometers away. But let's see when we get about 500 kilometers away yeah uh, let's see when we get some real tests going if I can actually get out there I think I will be and especially if we do some tests in the evening 
closer to midnight, uh, I think I should be able to get there on what I've just did. If not, I'll just increase the power going in and that ought to take care of the trick. Uh, but you can see why Envis, uh, especially on this 40 meter in the middle of the day, the kind of regional range you're going to get and be able to communicate in. Are you going to get over across the ocean into Europe, uh, Asia, things like that? Not at an Envis antenna. That's not what the goal is. That's not what it's intended to do. Uh, but it does seem to be doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, maybe if I get a test going with some buddies over in the Barry area uh, in a week or so, I think we're starting to get some plans together. Uh, I'll try and take some screen recordings of that and uh, see if we can get that done. In the meantime, be prepared, Canada. It's a tough world out there.